Well, I forgot to start this video. <laughs> I was gonna do this whole thing when I got in the car. So I pulled over, got the GoPro. Um, but what's up guys? My name's Andrew. This is gonna be my first vlog. Uh, we are heading to Boone, North Carolina, and we are looking for uh, some nice trout streams. So I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be a good drive, good little solo trip. Wife's gonna be taking care of the kids at home. Um, so, hopefully, we'll be able to catch some fish. It'll be pretty sweet. All right, we'll see you guys there. All right, so we've been driving about an hour now. We got two hours and 13 minutes till we get to do South Outfitters. That's the first stop. Um, we're gonna be looking for uh, fly tying kits. Um, Cause I wanna start tying my own flies. And then we're gonna pick up a couple of uh, dry flies uh, and a couple of nymphs, because I want to do, uh, uh, what's it called, dry dropper rigs. Um, we're going to be fishing the Watuga, Watauga, Watuga River. Uh, it's stocked with rainbow trout, and then it also has wild rainbow, um, and brook trout as well. So, hoping we'll be able to get a little bit of everything. Um, but we should be there soon ish. I mean, two hours, it's not terrible. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. It's been a while, so it's gonna be good. It's a little windy, we're gonna kinda get behind the car here. But, we're at part of the river access right now. This seems to be the lower Otuga Gorge river access. It's too high to wade and I would be wet wading. And it doesn't seem very comfortable. There's a little bit of spots with like uh, side access that I'm gonna try to just play around in. But I, I think we're only gonna be here for a little bit and then we may try to find like some more like wild rivers, you know, like higher up in the mountains, maybe hit Linville Gorge. I think we're about an hour away from there. And we got all day. It's about 10 o'clock right now, a little past 10, I think. So that's gonna be the goal. So we get tied up here and uh, we'll see y'all on the walk. All right, so we're here and we're gonna see if we can't catch anything. It's gonna take me a while to get my shit together here. Are you serious, dude? So, spot number one was a bust. Um, just not really like a good place for me to get the line out. It felt like, I don't know. I got stuck twice. 
got broken off, got it down, got the, the luckily there's a lot of line on the fly, so I was able to like wrap my pole up in it, which is kind of dangerous using the tip, but I was able to wrap my pole up in it, yank it down. So I think what we're gonna do is head back into town, get some service on the phone, and then hop on the computer and see like where I can go to get like maybe some better access. Um, so that's kind of the plan right now. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so a quick little update. We found what looks like to be a really cool stream, tattoo supported, so they stock it. But that's okay, we don't have to go for wild. Maybe we'll search Limbo Gorge later this afternoon. It's about an hour drive, so maybe we'll take some time out of it if we can get some some fun going on here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna dive into it in a, here, here in a minute. It's pretty easy to lose where your fly is, I'll tell you what. I'm stuck again. All right, so we put a San Juan worm on. Not having any luck right here. Although I'm not really sure I'm doing all that well. I'm gonna be completely honest. I might've put too much tippet on. I think I wanna move downstream a little get a little bit more situated. All right, guys, well, we had one hook. <laughs> um, it got off. Little itty buddy. I didn't even know I was on. I'm gonna get kind of here in the open a little bit. Right what the hell am I stuck on? I'll do it. See if I can't get something to bite right here in the middle. Hard to keep track of the dry fly, honestly. There's one. Damn, dude. I'm always a little freaking jumpy, eh? Look at that. Oh, you already got the hook out, huh? Let's see if I can get the peel in my hand. Come here. Hey, what's up? Look at that. Freaking gorgeous. Pretty fish. All right. There you go, buddy. Yeah. 
Nice, first one landed. I have no idea where that dry fly is. I'm debating taking the freaking dry fly off and just going with the nymph, but I don't have an indicator, that's my only problem. I think it's still here, right? Okay, cool. Oh, crap, dude. Light as shit with that tiny ninja on. They're just so tiny, you guys. I, I can't even see it. We're gonna go further down. See what kind of trouble we can't get into there. Oh shit. That is a nice fish. <laughs> what was I doing wrong that whole time? <laughs> Which one hooked me? Pliers out. Keep them in the water like that. Pretty. Hang. You're gonna get yourself all fucking shit. Put somewhere else. I, just get a I can't really get a good grip, but look at that beauty. Later, boy. Oh, fish. <sighs> That's two. Well, we got two today. That last one was nice. I don't know if we'll be able to snag any more. We can go out here a little bit. Come on, we're gonna have to scare the shit out of me. It really sucks because I don't have an indicator and I think I think that's like the next time I come up here that's what I'm gonna stop and flash out for is an indicator. I think that's gonna be the, the deal here. fish. I don't think that's too bad. You know, meh. I wish we would have caught more, but hey, at least we got something. And that's what's important. I'm gonna turn the heat on my feet. Cold. I wet, I wet weighted and it's water. I don't know how cold it is, but it's cold. 